Aloha, this is Brett Hooper with Aloha Codeworks, and welcome to Introducing Web Components with Dart. In this course, we'll dive into the new programming language and platform from our friends at Google called Dart. We'll learn how to leverage Dart to make amazing web apps with web components. Through the modules in this series, we will gain a strong understanding of how Dart works and how we can use Dart in building modern, dynamic, and responsive web applications with existing and custom web components. We will learn the syntax and mechanics of Dart and learn how the Dart approach for building web applications can be far faster, more efficient, and more robust than any platform you may have worked with before. And we'll see the performance of applications written in Dart as far faster than any other applications you've seen before. We'll then dive into web components, what they are, how they work, and how we can use existing web components in our Dart apps and how we can create our own. When we understand web components and are ready for more, we'll look at a specific implementation called Polymer. Actually, the Dart port of Polymer called Polymer Dart, which gives us a heaping catalog of components to work with and a framework to build our own custom web components upon. We'll also practice using existing real-world web components and become familiar with some of the ones developers can use every day. Dart is an object-oriented and structured language, which supports interfaces, large hierarchies of classes, and optional typing. Anyone familiar with Java or c -sharp, or even those who have only worked with JavaScript, will find Dart familiar and easy to understand. We will look at these concepts and more as we walk through a series of coding exercises to build and integrate our new knowledge so we can ultimately create a fully functional web application with Dart and web components, replete with CSS3, HTML5, and web services integration. I'm an experienced software engineer, instructor, and technology evangelist. I've spent many years in the industry building front-end web apps, mobile clients, and mid- and back-tier solutions for customers ranging from Fortune 200 companies in the banking, insurance, and telecommunications industries to various organizations in public and private healthcare. Most recently, my work has been in research and design projects for the U.S. Department of Defense in developing pathways for web applications and native mobile apps used on the battlefield and throughout the military enterprise. My activity has not only included research in platforms and tools for development, but analysis of processes and management approaches as well. It will be assumed that anyone viewing this course has a background in modern web development frameworks and ideally a knowledge of an object-oriented language like Java or c -sharp. Even without those, a general familiarity with JavaScript and web concepts should be enough to understand the basic concepts of Dart and how it's used in web development. 